Hi friends, I'm Kalan Raj, Faculty for Agriculture. In this video, we are going to discuss about male stability in crop plants. If you are to ask me one question that is most important for the entire paper too, that is male stability topic. You can check with the previous year question paper. I have taken only last year the eight years question paper, eight years uh, PYQ. So since 2014, this question is getting almost repeated every year. So there are okay, they are asking every time they are asking the different types of uh, military system. And in future also we can expect the same question. It will be repeated in future also. But the problem is many students they do mistake in this question because of the lack of uh, conceptual clarity and understanding. So in this video I am going to explain clearly about this male study concept in croplands. So first of all, what is male sterility? In general, the crop plants are uh, generally, they are bisexual in nature. Are also called hermaphrodite flowers. In animals, the sex are different. Male, female are different. In, uh, in some crop plants, they are called dioecious. They have uh, the male and the female plants are separate. Example, papaya, palmyra, date palm. But majority of the crop plants are bisexual in nature. That means they contain both male and female parts on the same flower. So this is a normal flower, normal fertile flower. And this is a male sterile plant. So here in the normal fertile flower, they do uh, the pollen grains of the, the same flower. They do pollination. During pollination, the pollen grains are transferred from the male part to the female part. They do fertilization and they produce the seeds. That's a normal process, normal process of pollination and fertilization. In case of male sterile plants, the problem is the male part of the flower is sterile. That is, they are unable to fertilize their own ovule. So in that condition, for these crop plants, they must be fertilized with the pollen grains from some other plant. So cross-pollination is the only mode of pollination in those crop plants. So this is a system of the male sterility in crop plants. This is a natural uh, phenomenon, but in agriculture, how we exploit this feature, the natural feature in agriculture for plant breeding, that is a topic. So the question is mostly, what is male sterility? What are the applications of the male sterility? How can we utilize male sterility in the, especially in the hybrid seed production? Because mostly this concept we apply in the hybrid seed production. So what is hybrid seed production? Because before we, we are uh, dive into the topic, uh, first let's understand the, the concept of hybrid seed production. So in the hybrid seed production, we cross uh, two parents, parent A with parent B. So the meaning of hybridization, hybridization is a common term. Hybridization means crossing. Crossing of any two parents with a dissimilar genotype. That's the only important condition. And to understand this concept, uh, you must know about the, the Mendelian genetics. So Mendel crossed uh, two parents, tall plant with the dwarf plant in the P plant. And he obtained all tall plants in the F1 generation. So here F1 means first filial generation. That is the progenies of the, the two parents, right? And this is called a hybrid. So, when we cross two parents with the dissimilar genotype, entirely dissimilar genotype, there is one is tall, another one is dwarf. In this condition, we can exploit the heterosis effect. We can expect the heterosis effect is something but superiority of the F1 over both of its parents. That is called the heterosis effect. This we can achieve by crossing two parents with the dissimilar genotype. So this process is called the hybridization and the progenies produced from this cross is called a hybrid. It's like a normal variety. It's one kind of variety, that's all. But because of this heterosis, the hybrids are, they produce, a, they show high hybrid vigor. So they produce a better performance than compared to the normal varieties. That's advantage. That's why the farmers usually they prefer for the hybrid seeds. They are high yielding at the same time. They provide uniform performance. 
these are the reasons for the the huge demand for hybrid seeds right but the problem is in the hybrid seed production when we cross two parents with a dissimilar character we can select one parent plant a in case of rice maize or any plant cotton and another plant plant b so in this crossing you can see here in general just i told you that in general all the plants are bisexual in nature they contain both male and female parts on the same flower so when we cross two parents we should fix in, in case of hybrid seed production we should one parent as female another parent as male sorry one parent as male another parent as a female so in this cross in this example how can we fix uh, whether uh, the a should be fixed as a male or b should be fixed as a female because both contain the male and female parts so in order to fix okay suppose if you are going to fix a b as a female then we must remove the male parts of the flower in the b plant to make it as a completely female so this process is called emasculation so the removal of male part of the flower is called emasculation because to avoid the self pollination right because in the hybrid seed production always the crossing is important the pollen grains must be transferred from here to here not from here to here okay so we should promote the cross pollination we should avoid the self pollination that's why this emasculation procedure is important and this is one of the the emasculated the flower so only the okay we keep only the the female part of the flower right okay so the problem is in this hybrid seed production you have to do this procedure for each and every flower in the female population so it's a time consuming process and it's a laborious process um, moreover uh, you need to employ huge labor and uh, we have to spend a huge amount for the labor cost apart from that in case of small sized flowers uh, the removal of male part of flower is it becomes very difficult so we cannot apply the hybrid seed production process in those crop plants so these are the challenges in the hybrid seed production that's why the hybrid seeds are very costly because of the labor cost for the emasculation procedure so this naturally occurring male selective system how can we use this male selective for the hybrid seed production so the answer is very simple for male selective there is only one application since the male sterile plants are they contain the male part of the flowers are sterile they cannot fertilize their own ovule right so simply we can use this male sterile plant as a female parent in the hybrid seed production we can cross with the normal fertile parent we can fix this as a female parent because the female is fertile only the male is sterile so we can easily we can use this plant as a female parent no need for emasculation no need to remove the male part of the flower because they are already sterile right so this is the only application of male sterility in the on the crop breeding so we can use as a female parent in the hybrid seed production right so it consists of uh, there are different types of male sterility system there are five types gms genetic male sterility cms cytoplasmic male sterility cgms cytoplasmic genetic male sterility cms chemically induced male sterility then finally transgenic male sterility and again in the gms one more classification temperature sensitive genetic male sterility photosensitive genetic male sterility so the first three types are natural the last two types chemically induced and transgenic or artificially induced male sterility 
So these are the five major types. So for the military topic, first you have to give this in the introduction itself. You have to give this uh, clear uh, the classification chart. So this presentation is very important. So let's discuss one by one. The first uh, topic: genetic male sterility. How can we use this GMS lines in the hybrid cell production? So the principle is same. All the male sterile plants are going to be utilized as a female parent in the hybrid cell production. But what is the what is the, what is the procedure and what is the concept behind this GMS, CMS, and the CGMS and all? How can we multiply them? Okay, that is the concept. Right. In the GMS system, it is a, in the name itself, it contains genetic male sterility, that is. The male sterility is controlled by the genes present in the nucleus. That is, nuclear genes controlling the, because already you might have heard that uh, some cell organelles, they also contain their own DNA. The genes present in the cytoplasm. They are called the cytoplasmic DNA. The two cell organelles, mitochondria and chloroplast, they have their own DNA. So they come under the cytoplasmic inheritance concept. So here in the GMS system, the gene controlling, because already we know that for every character, there is a gene. The gene responsible for a particular character. So the genes controlling this uh, male cellulite, the genes inducing this male cellulite in crop plants are found in the nuclear, nucleus, nuclear genes. So here, those genes are, they are in the recessive condition only, they produce the male cellulite. Whereas the dominant condition, if the genes are in the dominant condition, they are the normal plants. Only if, if they are in the recessive condition only, those genes in the recessive condition, recessive alleles only, they produce the male sterility. Right? And uh, again, uh, don't get confused. Uh, so here, uh, the MS, MS means male sterility. It is a single allele. So the MS is not a two allele. Okay, it's a single allele. Otherwise, okay, if you are uh, if you get any confusion, then simply you can use only one letter. Male sterility. Right. So this is the male sterile, the parent, the nuclear gene that contains MS MS. And this is called the A line. So only students, though those who have a clear understanding of the Mendelian concepts, the gamete segregation and all, they can able to understand this concept. Otherwise, it is difficult. So the A line <clears throat> is called the male sterile line. And this is the composition of the, the genetic composition of the A line. And it is crossed with the during the GMS, by using the GMS, how we are we producing uh, hybrid seeds? The A line is crossed with one more line called the B line. And this is the genetic constitution of B line. It is in the heterozygous condition. That is, for one allele, it is dominant. Another allele, it is recessive. But again, this is a normal fertile plant. Because in the male cellulite, for the expression of male cellulite, both the alleles should be in the recessive condition. Then only it will express the male cellulite. So here, one allele is dominant. Okay, This is a normal individual. Because of this uh, dominant allele, they will produce only normal uh, effect, but only if they are in the recessive condition, they will produce the sterility condition. So we have to cross this A line with the B line. And in this process, you will get a 1 is to 1 ratio by using the Mendelian formula, the gamete segregation 
and the law of segregation according to the law of segregation if you apply this concept then you will get the croplands one is to one ratio right so why we cross the a line with the b line simply just i told you that if male sterile plants are available then simply we can cross this a line the male sterile line with the, any normal fertile parents to produce a hybrid seed f1 we can do that right but actually that's not the case first because these a lines and all are available in nature first we need to multiply them in because we have to produce huge quantity of seeds and you have to distribute the seeds to the farmers so we need to first we need to multiply huge numbers of the a line that's why we first we cross the a line with the b line to multiply them that's why the b line is also called the maintainer line because we maintain the a line the population of the male sterile line by crossing it with the b line that's why the b line is called the maintainer line so if we cross these two then we will get this population so here we don't need this population because they are fertile they need only the sterile population so we remove this population and this sterile population after producing enough sterile population then it is normally again crossed with the normal fertile parents here both the alleles are dominant okay so here one, only one allele is dominant it is in heterozygous condition here both alleles are dominant so we can cross with the normal fertile parent so we can produce the the f1 so this is the f1 that is a hybrid seed we can use it for the we can distribute the seeds to the farmers so here no need to do the emasculation procedure and all so simply uh, this is the whole system of the gms genetic male selective so we can uh, directly we can go go to this step but the problem is since the population is very limited so first we need to multiply them so that's why we cross with the b line then after that after producing enough uh, population we cross it with the normal fertile parent to produce the hybrid seed so in this system in the gms system we can uh, use it for any crop plants for all the seed propagated crop plants we can use the gms system but the the problem is in the first step when we cross the a line with the b line we can able to produce only 50 50 population only 50% of the population is uh, male sterile the remaining 50% of the population is male fertile so but we don't need them we have to remove them so there is a process called roguing again it's a laborious process it involves a labor cost we have to find out those what are the male fertile plants and we have to remove them from the field so this is the the gms system so in the next video i will explain uh, cms cgms and uh, other systems